Hello, I'm Alan Newberry, and today I'm going to show you just a few little clips from the Arkansas Knife Show that just occurred this past weekend. And uh, I have very little actual photos from the show. I have just a little shot here from my table before the setup, and then I have a quick video clip just right as the show was ending and some of the people were putting away and a lot of people had already put up. Um, and mostly what I have is cutting competition footage which actually is probably more action-y than the other stuff, but I had a really good time at the show. This was uh, the first year for it to be run by Logan Pierce, and it went to a one-day show. They brought back the banquet, which I really enjoy the banquet, and I had a really good time. So here are a few shots. And here's a tip for you. If you're ever at a knife show and Mark Zaleski of Knife World slash Knife Magazine is there, you'll want to go and check out what cool old knives he's brought. And so now we've gotten to the cutting competition part. Uh, John Horrigan is about to try to cut through a spaghetti squash from uh, the stem to the butt end of it, and he has to be within like a half inch on both ends. So it has to go right down the middle, which turns out is trickier than it sounds. In this next cut, they are calling the William Tell cut, and the object of that is to cut the <laughs> apple, but not cut the water bottle, so it's kind of simulating putting an apple on somebody's head. And it turns out, you probably do not want to put an apple on any, on top of your head and have these guys cut it, because uh, sometimes it got cut. I didn't manage to get everybody's cuts recorded, and I also missed the first thing that they did, which I hear was a rope inside a Powerade bottle, which turned out to be a very tricky cut. Uh, this last one is basically testing the point on your knife. If you have seen Jerry Fist do a cutting competition, you'll know he likes for the knives to have a point on them. So if you're going to anything he's officiating, you're probably going to want to make sure it has a point on the end of your knife because he's going to make sure you do. So in this one, you had to have the tip of the knife resting on the table and in one fluid motion go out and poke through the slot and puncture the water bottle, which is pretty tricky because you got to be fast to poke the water bottle and you can't just kind of move it over there and then shove it in because that's more than one fluid motion. Uh, it's a pretty cool cut and definitely one that that was kind of tricky for everybody. Now we're coming up on the final cut, which is a water bottle cut. And in this one, you can cut up to 10 water bottles, but you have to cut them 
at the label or below, and any bottle that you don't cut will count against you. And you can choose how many water bottles you want to cut. So if you know, ah, I can cut five for sure, and you just cut five, well then you get five points. But if you say I'm gonna cut 10 and you cut four, then you're gonna end up with negative two points because each one you miss is a negative point and counts against you. So that definitely makes the, the last part kind of tricky where you're trying to figure out how many water bottles you think you're gonna cut. This time everybody just said, I can do 10. And uh, some cuts, which were actually pretty spectacular cuts, you know, you might end up with a negative score because it was above the label. And then it would count against you even if you had a good clean cut. In the end, John Horrigan took the title of Best Performance Bowie because of his performance here. And Mark Fleming won the Cumulative Sharpest Man uh, Award for cumulative points over all of the cutting competitions in Arkansas this year. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a great time at the show. It was kind of fun doing the one day format and I hadn't done a show uh, quite the way that they did it here and it seemed like there were a lot of people there and uh, I, I think it went really well. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.